What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Just Short, a.k.a. Just, just a channel you need to watch. Doing my, um, I'm growing up Detroit, episode, I believe, six. Um, want to talk to you about, um, the Chamber Brothers and when Melfar get all his, um, Cadillac emblems, um, took it off. So anyway, we're going to start off with the, um, Chamber Brothers. Back in the day, it used to be these brothers from Arkansas. And they was notorious. I mean, they, these these brothers was like, like, from what I've I've heard in document doc, um, 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 document documentations of them, the movie New Jack City. If you guys remember that movie New Jack City, that movie was based on these brothers, and they was ruthless. They, I mean, I can, I do remember as a youth in Detroit, um, hearing tales of of. of of the shit they used to do to you if you betray them, and 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 their thing was like so notorious. You you be a fool too, but they they had the crack game back in the day in the eighties. So locked down, it was ridiculous. And, and the brothers, BMG, the, um, was it no? The um the brothers that started um. Uh, Black Mafia, they was associated with them guys and White Boy Mike. Look, look up. I ain't gonna be going on in details about who they are and stuff. And I might talk about them in another deep growing up Detroit. But we're gonna talk about the Chamberlain brothers. Now the Chamberlain brothers, like I said, they 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 had the the crack game notorious. Just back when you can, when I think you would bind off police officers and um, it was police officers called Starskin Hutch. They was notorious for working with these guys and, and killing and, and beating a lot of guys and stuff and whatnot in Detroit. But the story I want to talk to you about is when um, the Chamber Brothers threw this big bag of money. They made, they made so much money from drug dealing that they didn't want the ones that they, they accumulated. And they went, I remember, I think it was over by Cass High. Cash Tech High, and they took the bag of money, I think like maybe two or three bags of them, of ones, and just threw it all in the street. And these kids came running out in the street, try to grab money. Some got some, and some got hit by cars. I remember it was all over the news, too, because people was upset about that because the Chamber Brothers was doing a little bit too much. And stuff. I think, and I think when that incident kind of happened, ap, ap, no, after that incident happened, that um, the um, police really started investigating their their activities because, you know, Cass Tech High was a real popular school, and the parents and the people that was associated with that school wasn't going for it. Bad enough, you know, Detroit was already considered a, a, a high, a powerful, you know, city at the time when Mayor Coleman, God rest his soul, he was, he was the truth. <laughs> Mayor Coleman was, it was the truth and he kept shit real. But, um, when, when, when that happened, the police get really started to, like I said, investigating who these guys were. And then I think that's when they did a warrant and, and found them tapes. Before, prior, before, um, when they they was talking about throwing the money, going down to Cass High or giving the money away, a videotape. They was always videotaping their their activities, and that's what got them caught up because they did a warrant on that house, bust in and found those tapes and played it. The rest was history. I mean, and the Chamberlain Brothers was no joke. Them those guys came from which what we would call a backward town like Arkansas. And if you really think about it, Arkansas is no backward town. But back, you know, people in Detroit, if you city, you city, and you if you country, you country. But those country boys, they really came and and really did what they did and, and helped shape Detroit. You thought them guys were from Detroit? No, they were from Arkansas. They they were a family, and and they loved each other and they had each other back. If you fuck one over, they was they was notorious for coming to kill you and your family, and that's the honest truth. And um. It was definitely, it was definitely some um, situations. I can tell you more and more about these guys, but it'd be another time. But I do want to bring up the Mel Far situation. This, this was back, I believe, in 
80, 80, 80, 81, 82? Yeah, 82. Maybe, yeah, maybe 82, 83, maybe. But this was when, in Detroit, Cadillacs was, was the shit for some reason. I mean, um, people loved it, you know, and, and, and that was the car in Detroit, Cadillacs. And this over by Linden. And um, it was, I mean, just, um, hold on, coming up right here. What the hell? And um, it was, it was. Um, sorry about that. Something popped up on my screen. I had to get it off. But um, it was over by Linden. Let me get this right. Over at Linden, where the old former Jackson would be. By the, by the. If you, if you're from the West Side, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Over by Linden, where the old former Jackson would be. Right over by the former Jacks, the the car, the car lot. You remember where Mel Far used to be at? That's where I remember. <laughs> I remember the day the news came on. Mel Far was out. He was so upset, and everybody. It was before they showed him the news report. Like, well, Mel Far, um, well-known um, um, car salesman, was vandalized. Vandalized. Vandal. Am I saying right? Blah, 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 blah. Vandalized. All his cars. I'm thinking, like, damn, all his cars. What? What happened? Somebody broke in and stole all his cars. No, they they came in and clipped off all the Cadillac emblems, and um, it, it took everyone off. And after that, they, you know, the companies were like, okay, well, we we're not gonna have Cadillac emblems where you can just take them off. And they and, and what made it so wild? People that stole them were selling them on the street. I remember when the police pulled out a um. A big thing. If you get caught with a um, Cadillac emblem on your bill, because because I remember the YBIs and the Pony Downs was rocking them. The Cadillac em emblems. They had like the little cloth um, belt where you can loop it around, and they they snag it onto the emblem, and they had it on their belts, and they was rocking them. And if, the, if if you got caught by the police, I think it was like a three hundred or four hundred dollar fine. Oh yeah, it was it was it was it was, it was crazy back then. There, there was a day, you know, Detroit. Detroit was 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 a type of town that you really couldn't take for granted, and then, and then that that was the honest truth. I mean, it was always something happening um, in in my city, in in the city that I, I grew up to, to 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 my teenage years before I left to, for Grand Rapids, Michigan, and it, it was a very Notorious city. You, 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 you met pimps, hustlers. I remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna promise you this too. My next, my next Detroit um, episode is gonna be about Woodworth. If y'all remember Woodworth, y'all gonna love it. All right. So listen. I want to do something quick and short because this is my new channel. Uh, growing up Detroit. This is Growing Up Detroit episode. My previous episodes on my other channel, Roy A. Holmes Senior, or just just Roy, aka Just. <laughs> my look, my look, my baby want to say hi. Say hi, baby. Ah! <laughs> All right, mama. So, anyway, but anyway, stop, stop now, stop. Now, be a good girl. Go, be a good girl. Go. Now, stop. Stop. Go. Now, look. Okay, you guys. This is Just Roy, aka Just. Thank you for joining me on my new channel of Growing Up Detroit. And you guys have a blessed day, all right?